Hey there and welcome to Simply Learning 123. Today's video is going to be for students. As we have brought in the first lesson for grade 1 environmental science that is living and non-living things. So this lesson we will divide into two parts. By the end of this video you will learn to identify living and non-living things. You will be able to describe the features of living things. And in our next video, we are going to post the needs of living things. So before we start the lesson, let's be all ready with a pencil and a paper. So now let's take a look at this picture. Next, let's make a list of all the things we see here. So you can see some trees there. You can see a cat there, a dog, a puppy, there are some bushes or small plants. Oh, look at the sky, there are some clouds. There is a swing and a slide. There is a seesaw swing as well and some climbing bars. Well done! You have made a list of all the things you see in this picture. By the end, you will be able to sort these things into living and non-living things. So let's begin. All things in this world can be divided into two groups living and non-living humans or people like us animals plants are all living things because they have life in them a table chair pencil book etc are non-living things to clearly understand the difference between these two groups we must look into the features of living and non-living things there are certain things that all living things can do. These things are called as the features of living things. Living things can move. Living things can move from one place to another. So why do you think living things need to move? They move in search of food, water, shelter or space to live. Have you seen plants moving from one place to another? Well, plants do not move from one place to another, yet some plants like the Venus flytrap as you see in the picture can close its flap when an insect comes and sits on it. Likewise, the sunflower plant moves towards the sun to get more light. The touch-me-not plant closes its leaf when touched. So plants cannot move from one place to another, but they can move some of their parts. Now let's see what is the second feature. Living things can feel or respond to changes. Don't you feel cold during winters and hot during summers? What about a time when mama gives you something which you don't like? Don't you feel like crying? Well, that's because you are a living thing. Living things can grow. Do you remember the time when you were little baby? And now you all have grown up into little kids going to school. So all living things can grow. A baby plant grows into a big tree. A small lion cup will grow into a big lion. A caterpillar grows into a beautiful butterfly. Living things can breathe. Take a deep breath. You are a living thing. 
and all living things need to breathe. Can you see the fish breathing? Fishes use their gills to breathe inside water. And look at the deer. The deer is also breathing. Humans like us breathe using their lungs. Living things reproduce. Say the word reproduce. That means to have babies. Birds lay eggs. Animals like the lion and cow and dog give birth to young ones. Living things eat food and drink water. Can you stay hungry for a whole day? No, right? Look at the little cat. It also needs water. So all living things need water and food to live. Seventh feature is living things give out waste. So now you know the reason why you need to rush to the washroom every now and then. All living things need a shelter or a home to live where they feel safe. Can you think of living outside your home? No, right? Similarly, all living things need a home to live. The ninth feature is living things die. All living things will die one day. So students, those were the nine features of living things. Living things reproduce, they can breathe, they move, they respond or feel, they need shelter to live, they eat food and drink water, they give out waste and they die grow and again the cycle continues so we have brought in an easy way to remember the features of living thing if you remember mrs gribend there she is mrs gribend stands for move reproduce need shelter grow respond to changes breathe excrete or give out waste need food and D stands for die. These were the nine features of living things which make them different from non-living things. Non-living things do not move, do not grow, do not respond or feel. They do not reproduce. Have you seen a table having babies? They do not give out waste. They do not need food or water. Do you give your books some water or food to eat? Similarly, non-living things do not die. They remain the same as they are always. Now that you all know the features of living things, let's come back to the picture and the list we had made in the beginning. Now, can we sort these things in? living and non-living things so trees cat dog puppy these are living things clouds swing climbing bars are non-living things hope you all enjoyed learning the lesson features of living things in our next video we are going to take a look at the basic needs of living things what are the things all living things need to live? So dear children, until our next lesson, stay safe and curious for the next science lesson. And don't forget Mrs. Grubend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.